What's up guys? Hey, check out this little 12 volt rechargeable battery. This thing is super packed with power. Combine that with a solar panel, what do you get? You get 24 seven maintenance free power to your cell cameras, to your trail cameras, whatever you need. This is pretty cool. I got the test to prove it. We're gonna build one today, stay tuned. So this little power pack has this little 12 volt battery inside. I wanted to test this out just to see if it would work. And I've been testing it for the last three weeks. And I'm gonna be running three of these units this season. And uh, totally self-sustaining running uh, trail cameras. I'm really super stoked with what I've seen so far. This is really cool stuff. What I wanted to know is what would happen if I took two Strike Force Browning cameras, ran them off of this battery for 13 hours straight on the maximum setting of picture taking that they would take in a household full of kids and dogs and it's so active for 13 hours. Um, what would the drawdown be on a battery like this? Between both cameras, I, it, they took nearly 9,000 pictures. And when I did the, the test on the drawdown on this battery, it came down to about 65% of this battery. This battery will get both of these cameras through the night sufficiently um, and supply all the power that they need. Now, the other cool thing is that I, I did a few power tests where on a typical night, say it draws this battery down to 75%, just say. Um, in 30 minutes of morning sun, this battery was charged back to 100% with a two watt solar panel. And I wanted to see how long it would take a solar panel to recharge it from zero. I did draw this down. I took a LED light strip and I connected it to the wires and I drew this battery all the way down to zero, flat. So I put a two watt solar panel on it and the day that I chose to do this was not a good day. It was a rainy day. It was cloudy uh, all day long, not a bit of sunlight, really thick cloud cover. It took it six hours to take this back to 100%. Uh, but that made me confident because I knew that it was uh, uh, a really bad day for solar panels and it still uh, charged the battery. So anyway, let me show you a little bit closer look of uh, how this unit works with the other things that I have. All right, so let me show you why I really like this thing. So this nice unit here, it's got a half inch pipe on it and the half inch couples that I build on everything and everything just fits nice and uh, tight together. I've got a, a tightener on the other side. So when I get ready, I'll tighten that down and that will fit perfectly and be nice and secure. This also fits on my tripod stands where I have my half inch couple in the back too. So if it's in there and tighten it down, it's not going anywhere. And then it also fits on the, the tree brackets that I have. This is pretty cool. Um, this just screws in, it's got a lag bolt on it, it screws in, it has a handle on it so you can screw it into tough wood. And then you just take your bracket, your uh, couple, slide it in. And now you've got your solar panel that sits on a tree. You'd run this to your trail camera, uh, screwed into the tree. So really cool setup. I love this stuff and everything fits everything. So you can move them around. And uh, I know some of you guys have asked me about the things that I build and um, you don't have welders. And so if you want something like this, just let me know. We'll try to figure something out. I'll throw it up on eBay or something and put a link to it so you guys can buy it. I don't know, through PayPal if you want to, if you uh, don't have a welder and you want one of those. So just let me know. But let's get to putting one of these things together so you can see how I build them. All right, guys, so I got this laid out for you. Tried to make it as simple as possible. And it got a nice chart here. Figured it'd be the easiest way to show you how this is rigged up. So you might want to take a snippet of this and print it out if you can and keep it for the future if you're ever doing future projects where you need to uh, rig a solar panel with a battery with a 12 volt regulator going to your camera. And you can even put a little battery test wire set 
that will actually run outside of this box so that I can put my battery tester like this on it without having to open the box or anything and test the health of the battery. So basically we got our solar panel. We've already cut the alligator clips off. We're ready to go there, just direct wiring. We've got our 12 volt battery. We've got our little screw tips. Um, this is the battery test wire that's going to come out of here. We've got plugs. I'm gonna show you how to, foam plugs. I'm gonna show you how to make those. Um, and then this is just a Tamac uh, plastic junction cover um, that screws onto the top. It's got a nice rubber seal around it, foam seal that seals down on it with four screws. And I'll put all this in the description for you guys. No worries on that. Uh, but yeah, just a, a junction box you can get at Ho Home Depot or Lowe's. And then I've got my 12 volt regulator here that ties in with that. And here's my plug that goes to my camera. Now this box is going to mount right here on this bracket and that's what I'm going to do now and then we're going to get it wired up. So now that we've got everything wired, I'm just going to move this over to the side and we're going to make the plugs that go into the end of the junction box there like this. I'm going to show you how, how I make them. There are several ways you can do it. You can simply cut it out with a pair of scissors. Um, you can find any kind of foam laying around, air conditioning, insulation, pipe insulation. I just have this piece of foam right here. I've cut some out already. I take a one and a quarter inch pipe, grind the end a little bit, sharpen it. And then you can uh, just screw it down onto the hose, pull it out. You got your foam plug in there. Make you a nice, nice foam plug, just like that. And then basically, we're going to uh, take this. Here's our battery test wires, and we're going to push this plug up in there, nice and secure. Just like that. So we got our battery test wires hanging out. And then we'll do the other side as well. Okay, and that's not going anywhere. All right, guys, I am done. So I've got the wire plugs into the camera. This is uh, all set. I just need to go back and put some foam inside of the box to keep the battery from sliding around. But that will go right on to uh, everything I have and fit perfectly. So that box is done. It's all sealed up real nice with my battery test cables coming out. All right, guys, that's it. Hey, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope that was helpful, and I hope you like this all-in-one battery pack combined with solar. So, like I said, I'm going to be running three of these this season, and we'll see how they go. I'll keep you updated, but I'm really excited to see if I can find some self-sustaining uh, units like this that will run my trail cameras, and I won't have to worry about them anymore. But, hey, guys, we got a busy hunting season coming up. It's just getting started. Love you guys. Appreciate you tuning in, and if I can help you in any way, please let me know. But we'll be in touch. Videos, more videos coming in here in the next uh, week or so. So stay tuned. God bless you guys. Catch you next time.